So for today, we're going to be looking at the Survival of the Strong set for the Titans. If you guys don't know, this is the 2022 set for Guardian Games. I do have the Guardian Games 2022 set for the Hunters right here, if you guys want to check it out. And I also have the review for the actual armor itself right here and here for both of the 2023 and 2022 sets. Now, I really like all of these videos. They're super, super dope. Hunters got some really cool sets. Titans, you guys got some really cool sets as well. I also did use a large majority of the 2023 two set in the 2023 set i know that's a mouthful but basically the survival of the strong armor which is what we're going to be looking at here if you guys are not liking some of the sets that i'm showing you now check out the 2023 set because that one i actually do use uh, a lot of the survival of the strong sets so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys other than that let's get into it so to start off we're going to be going for a casual glowy titan this one i'm going to be using pieces that i've used in the past because uh, quite frankly i love these pieces so for the helmet survival of the strong helmet such a dope helmet i love this fucking helmet so much with kateria gauntlets in combination with the veritas plate i think these two just pair so well together and the alighted steps uh this is kind of like a remix of the 2023 set because i did use the boots as well but this one is a little bit different not only is the armor piece is different but the shader is as well so that's why i'm like it's kind of the same but it's literally just the exotic that i have as the same hopefully i can show you at least a picture of the other set because it, that way you guys will know like oh wow he did but in different way and then for the mark thunderous impact mark uh i just think this mark is super dope uh for the people who are super duper picky the thunderous impact mark does have a blue glow in the back it's very very minimal but for those of you who are like oh no i can't do this there's other shaders that you can use with this venomous is the shader i chose just because a it's a really good black shader that gives you a really bright glow but uh yeah that's actually it there's no there's no like thought process into it it's just a very dark shader that has a really good glow that's really it let me know what you guys think about this one definitely like it uh I think I prefer the the other set that I made with the helmet, uh, which I'll have up right now. I think that one is just a little bit better, but this helmet is so cool that you can really combine it with anything. As for the arms for the survival of the strong gauntlets, I have a fucking weird look as well. I don't know where this came from. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of like, kind of reminds me of the hunter set where it was like uh, royal, but also like techno. A soldier type thing kind of the same thing for this one for the chest piece and the arms and then for the royal pieces would probably be the helmet the the mark and the boots so i don't know let me know what you guys think about this one but for the helmet radiant breaker helm uh was a choice i made just because i wanted something a little bit more regal looking because i am using the nightly new arm mark with the abeyant leap boots uh, i i think these boots are super dope uh i didn't want to go for green because that's what people will usually go for, especially since this will be a build with strand. So I decided to do go with red and because Radiant Breaker has red, that's why I went with it. For the chest piece and the arm, Survival of the Strong is what we're using for the gauntlets. And then for the chest piece, I was like, well, I'm, I have a lot of regal looking stuff. So I need something that looks a little bit more tactical, I guess you would say. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this one. For the shader, Crucible Elizarin was the one I chose just because it's a really good glow. Specifically, it, it goes really well with the Radiant Breaker helmet because the fire doesn't change color. And the glow is really good because it's usually like a red or, or an orange, which is again, fire, duh. And the only thing I can really bitch about this one is the fact that the off color is this really like old, decrepit looking like texture slash shader. You can see it on the pouch on the mark a little bit of it but hope thankfully none of it takes like a really big portion of it so that's why i went with the shader uh i would probably switch out the shader for something else because again there are shaders in the game that have an orange glow and yeah a lot of them are really really cool so i would probably just switch out the shader at this point for something that has orange as well as for the next set, again, like I said, I've already made different sets with the Survival of the Strong pieces. So if you guys are not liking some of the ones that I'm showing you right now, make sure to check the other one because that one has a lot better ones. In my personal opinion, I was almost going to use just reuse it, but I don't want to do that. Uh, I say this because this one is fucking weird. So for the helmet, the Cogburn custom custom cover, the cowboy helmet, essentially, is what I went with and I do think it looks cool with the augmented auspice but then it kind of loses me with the survival of the strong plate and the enduring conqueror greaves the iron will mark is fine it doesn't really bug me it's just that 
I think the hel I think the helmet and the chest piece can are not the chest piece. I think the Cogburn custom cover and the augmented auspice ornament can actually be combined to look really really cool. You just have to get the right chest piece and the right boots for it, and then it would be fucking cool because then it could almost look like a techno cowboy like thing. But for the shader, this is also kind of something that I actually have put thought into. It's not just a random shader. Testudo is literally the only reason I'm using this is because it turns off the shaders for most armor pieces. Uh, Testudo actually doesn't turn it off completely, but it makes it so low that you can't see it. So, I mean, it almost turns it off essentially. I'm going to be real with you guys. I'm not the biggest fan of this armor set. Uh, the reason I showcased it so you guys can see is, hey, I've already made an armor set with the survival of the strong piece and the enduring conqueror plates you guys can check both of them out i've i've been calling them out all this video because there's some sets in this video that are just gonna be fucking weird um this one i think is the weirdest one but again i think the augmented auspice and the custom cover i think both of these can be such fucking bangers together i just need to see what chest piece and boots i will combine them with and to be quite honest the chest piece and the boots really don't worry me because i do have a lot of chest piece and helmet uh, choices in my head already so i do apologize this one is a little fucking weird but i am happy with it because it it really started motivating me to look at the aug augmented auspice and the custom cover a little bit more in depth now and then last but not least we're looking at the survival of the strong greaves this one i'm gonna be real with you this one's pretty cool also reminds me of the first one that we looked at and the hunter set where it's like a com combining like a warrior with a techno soldier type thing this is kind of the same thing Hardened Basilisk, that's the techno part. Virtuous Plate, it's kind of both. It's like the Virtuous Plate for me reminds me of like a warrior and a techno, like a techno warrior kind of thing. And then Survival of the Strong, that's techno, obviously. And then Dendrite, I think is uh, soldiers or not soldier, uh, like almost like a mystics uh, warrior type shit. And yeah, it's really weird. Cause like, I'm, I don't know. I just went, I, if I'm being quite honest for my, my head, if I'm being quite honest, in my head, I was just like, I just want to go with like a warrior type thing and glow. That's really it. And Doomfang Pauldrons without an ornament, I think does a great job. Amethyst Veil for the color of the glow, nothing else. I mean, granted, it gives me this really cool black, but I know people are going to give me shit for that. But it's really just for the glow. If you, have, if you guys find any other shader that has a really rich purple, use that instead. I, I'm just kind of showcasing Amethyst Veil for the glow itself. So, yeah, I... I like this one as well. I probably wouldn't use this whole set because I, I've done so many Doomfang Pauldron sets that, and I've made a lot of them that are just such bangers that this one's like, it's cool, but it's not better than some of the ones I've done before because not only does the base look, look really cool, but the ornaments also look really cool. And I've made multiple sets with those ornaments as well. So Titans, let me know what you guys think. I do apologize that this one was probably not better than the other one, but granted, the other one does have a lot of the survival of the strong pieces. So essentially, I, I give you guys like double, I double dipped with both of those armors. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming to this point. Let me know what you guys think. Other than that, be safe and I will see you guys later.